Shalom, let give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, let give double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, salutations to all you sincere brothers pushing this word across the four corners of the earth. And this is an article from WAPT.com, and the title says, Teacher made black fifth graders at their slaves in mock auction. This was published on May 31st, 2019, and it says, Westchester County, New York. A New York teacher singled out African American students and cast them as slaves in a mock auction as part of a social studies lesson in March. An investigation by the New York Attorney General's office found that the reenactment had a profoundly negative effect on all of the students present, especially the African American students. Every young person, regardless of race, deserves a chance to attend school free of harassment, bias, and discrimination, Attorney General Letitia James said in a statement. Lessons designed to separate children on the basis of race have no place in New York classrooms or in classrooms throughout this country. The incident happened in two fifth grade social studies classes at the Chapel School, a private school in Westchester County, about 15 miles north of Midtown Manhattan. Imaginary Chains A teacher asked all of the African American students in each class to raise their hands and then instructed them to go stand in the hallway, where the teacher placed imaginary chains on their necks, wrists, and ankles. So you can already imagine that these are other nations that's doing this making mockery of our people. And right here it says how they place imaginary chains on the necks, wrists, and ankles of the so-called African-American students. Well, it's going to become physical manifestation for you other nations because you touch the apple of the most high's eyes. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the children of Israel. And you want to continue to make mockery about our sufferings and our curses, but all these curses and sufferings that's placed on our people right now, it's going to be placed on you pretty soon as a people. So go ahead and, and do your mockery and, and your imaginations and all your little false gestures toward our people right now, because every chance that we get, we're going to be able to do this on your ass as well. So it says that those students were then instructed to walk back into the classroom and line up against the wall. The teacher then proceeded to conduct a simulated auction of the students in front of the rest of the class in an attempt to depict the sale of enslaved Africans to white plantation owners that happened in the 18th and 19th centuries. And those wasn't enslaved Africans that they happened to. Those were so-called Negroes who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. The so-called Africans and the so-called Caucasians teamed up together and that's when they enslaved our people, the so-called Negroes. So you so-called Africans are the biblical Hellmites, and you so-called Caucasians are the biblical Edomites. If you want to read up more about the so-called Africans, you can look up uh, the Bible Compact Dictionary, and you can look up for the word Ham. That's who are the forefathers of these so-called Africans. And it tells you that the, the Hellmites consist of all these different nations as far as the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, so forth and so on. And it says not the Negroes. So it's, it's a distinction between the so-called Negroes and the so-called Africans. So we are not enslaved Africans. The teacher who conducted the lesson was fired. As a result of the investigation, James announced in a statement that the school will have to make significant changes to the way it approaches diversity and inclusion. And no matter how much you try to change the program, try to make it better for the school's diversity and inclusion, it's still spiritually stinked in these so-called Caucasians, who they are. And they have that hatred toward our people because they know who we are. Even these lower level Edomites that we see walking around here from day to day basis, they might not know exactly who we are as a people, but they know it's a distinction between us and them. It's just our people want to continue to love the enemies and hold hands with them. So no matter what you try to do, try to change the school's program, for the diversity and inclusion, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because these so Caucasians are going to be who they are, and that's our the devil according to the Bible. All right, so this is Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So as of May 31st, 2019, we are in this day of our captivity. No matter where the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans are scattered across, no, no matter what part of that land mass you are in, you are in captivity. Where thou has scattered us, and that's your how Bashar Shah scattered us because we disobeyed his law, statutes, commandments as a people. 
Therefore, part of the curses was going to be scattered across four corners of the earth. That's why you have our people everywhere now. We scattered for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. So that's why we have all these type of bills coming in. Car notes, car insurance, house mortgages, rent, cell phone bills, anything you can think of. Those are subject to payments right there. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, because our forefathers disobeyed Yahweh Bashar Shah rules and regulations, therefore, we are under the curses right now till this day, which departed from the Lord our power. But as we come closer to the end times of America, that's when Yahweh Shah is going to come back and redeem his elect. Lord willing, we are part of that great number. So that word reproach in the free dictionary, it says, to express disapproval of, criticism of, or disappointment in someone. So that's how the Heavenly Father felt for us as a people. You know, he would disapprove and disgrace at us as a people because here he is. We supposed to be the top nation on the planet Earth. And we supposed to be worshiping our true power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But we want to serve other gods. We want to worship their holidays. We want to eat those abundable foods. But Yahweh Bashim, Shai, he got mad at us. And we lost that connection with us, with him, you know, as a power because he took that name from us. As it says in Jeremiah 17, 4, we was going to discontinue for our heritage. And part of that heritage is having the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. So He was disappointed in us as a people. Therefore, when He was disappointed in us as a people, that's when we started being subjected under the curses. And one of the curses was to be made mockery of. That's why you see these other nations, they made mockery of us as a people. The black faces. You see this thing right here with this article with the slave auctions. No matter what, you can be online and you just read on the different comments on different videos. You always gonna see a so-called white person or other nation say something about a nigger or a wetback. It doesn't matter because it letting you know that those curses still stand as this day because the word of you, how about Shao Shah stand to this day? So we can't change that no matter what. So that's the definition of the word reproach. And this is Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. In the 28th verse and it says therefore i have profaned the princes of the sanctuary when you profane something it means you outside of the temple and that's right now two-thirds of the nation of israel are outside of the temple that's why they can't come back to the heavenly father is only begotten son right now but as a hopeful let lord willing we are coming back to who we really are as a people and we can stay in that mind frame when your house comes back and we'll be delivered so but this is before the elect started waking up, we was profane. It was outside the temple. We didn't have that connection with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. We didn't know we were Israelites. We was Israelite foreigners. You know, we was eating all these abundable foods. We was worshiping all these different deities and holidays. But now Yahweh Bashan Shai, he's waking us back up to who we really are. As it says in Romans 13, chapter 11, verse, and now it's our time to wake out of sleep. We come out of sleep now. And now we can see what things are. Now we know who our enemies are. We know who we are as a people. We know who our true power is. So therefore have I profaned the princes of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse. And that curse you can read about Deuteronomy 28 chapter and the 15th verse on down. It lists all the curses and only applies to one group of people and that's the Hebrew Israelites. You can't get around it. You can see the curses now to this day. How it would be, you know, father in the household. And you see the other nation make mockery of so-called Negroes for that. Because we made, the law was made for us as a people. And we, since we broke the law, therefore we had to suffer the curses. So it says, and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. And we just read the definition of reproach. So that's going into those different curses, the different disapprovals and criticisms. And that's why we catching so much hell as a people now because we disobey the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. And this is Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, and the 48th verse. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you. And this is speaking to the Hebrew Israelites. And a perpetual shame, which means ongoing. No matter where we go to, from America to any other parts of the earth, we're going to have that perpetual shame on us because that spiritual curse is on us as a people. 
which should not be forgotten. We're not going to be forgotten about that because we're going to remember the hell that we call here, Lord willing, we make into the kingdom. Like, man, we really call hell there in, our, in the land of our captivity. You know, but it's not going to be forgotten. That's how much more we're going to appreciate the kingdom once it be presented to us from Yahweh Shai. So that's the end of the article right there. Teacher made black field graders at the slaves and mock auction. So go ahead with your mockery. Go ahead with your racial slints because pretty soon it's going to be physically manifested on you all as a people. You all going to have those physical chains around your necks, around your ankles, around your wrists as a people because you touch the apple of the most high's eyes. You touch his chosen people. And it's going to be a retribution for that very soon. So with that, I hope you all will edify like give all under glory again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaq, Dash, double others again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akin. Shalom.